All right, welcome. Today, we will be talking about is it worth to open the AOT 7 Deadly Sins Pickup Banner Attack on Titan. So first, we'll be talking about each of the featured units individually. First is Levi. So Levi is a pretty beneficial character due to the fact that he could be put on any team. But the main team you want to put him on is Pentine. Due to the fact of his passive, his passive states attacking the enemy with the lowest percentage of HP results in a critical strike. Um, since he has a lot of crit damage and because of his passive causing more crit damage, you want to raise his crit chance. Because crit damage is good, but unless you have crit chance, you won't be able to infiltrate it. So, what you want to do is not only give him a substat on his gear of crit chance, but also put him with Mer any of the Merlins to raise his crit chance by 19.2. The gear you want to give him is attack and defense. And if you don't have all these things, he's really not that beneficial because his moves really don't do much for him, like 160 with Spike. Spike's just not that good, you know, 240, 400, 100 with Despair. Despair's also not that good. It does hit, help with uh, Critical Strike, which does help a lot. Um, then, you know, this is probably his best attack. This is on all enemies. That's why he's also an AoE. That move helps with the AoE portion of what you want. And, um, he can be really used for, you know, Pentium. This is all he ne is needed for. That's it. Pentium, you could put him on any other teams, but Pentium, he'd be, it'd be very beneficial. Other than that, he's not that good. Now, Mikasa. Mikasa isn't really... Um, a good character. She really kind of sucks. Um, she, uh, also needs crit chance because she does a lot of crit damage, just not as much. She does have slightly more crit chance, but it's really not worth it. If you really want to do anything, just go with, uh, Levi. Um... Her passive states that she increases all stats of the hero by 3% for each ally that takes damage. Um, which is okay. It really is all she has, but like it's still not that good. And she, You would want to put her on a team with King Arthur, and I think that's like the only team you want to put her on. This man right here, to, and not even blue, like red King Arthur, due to the fact that she can get buffed, and like, that can benefit her a lot, but even still, she's not worth pulling for. If you're going into this banner for her, you are very mistaken, and you should, like, turn around and save your gems, because it's just not worth it. And finally, Aaron Yeager. Green. Now, Green Aaron... He's a character with two races, and he's the only character in the game with two races. He's got human and giant. So putting him on a team, you want to you want to really focus on one. Do you want a more human team or a more giant team with him? You don't want to like do a mixture of both because then you won't have a good team. Um, for this character, he does have decent amount of crit damage and but not so good crit chance. The main thing he has is pierce rate. He has a lot of pierce rate, uh, just as much as Demon Melly. And he does have an AoE attack that also does disable ultimate moves for one turn or two turns, which is very beneficial. And he can also attack, and uh, he feels... he's like a, It's like an Escanor attack, the green one where he does fill his ult gauge, and he does do single target. His uh, passive is he increases damage dealt by 10% for each orb filled in the hero's ultimate move gauge, which 
obviously makes him more powerful in comparison. Then we get to the Titan form. Now, the Titan form's passive uh, is he's immune to ultimate move disable, which is crazy good due to the fact of his ultimate. Okay, but let's start with the human Aaron's ultimate. So, um, obviously, his ultimate causes him to undergo a transformation for only five turns. It increases his attack, defense, and HP-related stats by 10%, then uh, decreasing attack-related stats of all enemies by 30%. What you want to do is give him a Meliodas so he gets even more attack. If you want to go defense route, you could, but the gear you want to put on him is attack and HP, so he really needs more attack than defense. I mean, uh, attack and defense, so he really needs more attack um, due to this. Now, his Titan form is the exact same skills as Red Escanor. Like, he's got Amplify, meaning you want to put him on a team with Red King Arthur or a buffer, so they can buff him, and hence... Um, really bring out what this move can do then he's got um downswing which causes them to lose all gauge another move that Escanor has on all characters which is very beneficial his stats are increased let's see if i can find them uh, well you know his uh hp defense and attack are increased and his ultimate inflicts damage of 840 one of the hardest hitting ultimates. Now it could be better, and we all know it could be better. But that's only one six. Um, the multiplier could go up. It says it in, uh, by ten percent. It can go up to thirty five percent, and that makes him super strong. Like he's a good hitter. You wanna for his gear. I said you wanna do attack and defense, which is true. But you also wanna give him a ton of pierce rate. Uh. Especially if you're on this that specific team, the pen team. Um, and in many cases, right, especially right now, uh, you want to use him with a uh, Merlin due to the fact of his passive, which um, increases uh, damage dealt by ten percent when he is when he, when. He, his teammates have more alt gauge, and she gives alt gauge. You could also put her with some of the um, Elizabeths. That would help. And Colossal Titan. He is amazing for Colossal Titan. If you only want him for Colossal Titan, you should still do it. Because Colossal Titan right now is so big. And just that man right there, he's so powerful. Especially trying to do an extreme, you want this character. All right. Um. So I've talked about that. All right. This. Wait. This itself. So, basically, let's go here. Yeah. So basically, this is the banner. Okay. Obviously, the, there are the three features which are above it, but these are the other SS, SSRs. And they're not very good. Like, you have Deldry Trash. No one wants her. You have, um, you have Death Pierce. He's good. He's not a bad unit. You have Elaine. She's okay. She's really not that good. You have King Arthur, which is really good. And I think they put him in here just for the fact that he boosts... He's like, as you can see, he was like, you could you could put him on any with any of these three, and he would make them so much better. You have Fairy Helbrim, he's good, but I don't think he's like that worth pulling for because you could, you know, you could always um get him other ways. There's Gil Thunder, not really that good, and there's Jericho, and she's a good hitter. But you can get her, like, anywhere. So, she's not worth pulling for. And this banner is just not as good as, like, other banners. Like, other banners have better characters. 
And um, let me go back here. The pity rate. So obviously you guys all know about the pity system where if you spend enough gems, eventually you'll get it guaranteed. Well, it sucks because the pity SSR that you get, you would need to spend 300 gems. Usually you would only have to spend 180 on a normal banner. But this one, on a banner that you also have less chance of pulling, it's just, it's not the percentage is different. It's just, it's just so much different that it's way harder to pull. Now, I did do a video on pulling, and we did like a couple multis, but at the same time, we got kind of lucky. Um, and my cousin is just a really lucky person. But then, if you want to get one of them, one of them, guaranteed, you have to spend, either you have to buy the pack that gives you a, a guaranteed ticket for one of the three, which my cousin did do, or you would have to spend 600 gems. And that's, a, again, these are all chances of getting which one you would want. Like, you're not going to get sometimes what you want. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. And... Just compared to other packs, this pack's just not that worth it. The characters are... At least Levi and Aaron are definitely worth opening this for. But the pack itself, with all the other characters, not worth it. And I've seen so many more people pulling a Mikasa than pulling Aaron or Levi. So, due to these facts, in my opinion, I'm not pulling... I don't think it's worth it. There are other characters that you could replace for these three. It's not worth it. Now, to my cousin, he pulled for all three of them, and he got all three. It was worth it for him, and it's really be beneficial. I've seen what it can help with. Just, it's really up to you. It's your gems. They are having the gem, uh, gem uh, drop, and I did get 10 gems today. But it's really rare. You can get up to a thousand gems. It's just really rare to get that. So if you're thinking you're going to get that and then be like, yeah, now I have enough, I wouldn't. Because even still, soon Derriere is coming out and you want her. And she's definitely coming out very soon. Because speculation in like a couple weeks, we're going to be getting final boss Meliodas. And she was perfect. She's perfect for that. Um,. So she's probably going to be released in, in less than a month. So you should be saving for her. These characters won't help you later on. They're only good now and maybe a little on. But uh, that's what I think. And if you agree, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Comment down below which of the three characters you like more. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button, and make sure to comment down below if you did do try picking up these characters. Because I'd love to know which characters you pulled, or if you got completely shafted. Because it could go both ways. But, uh, thanks.